Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I have here a brand new product for the channel and a number of you have been asking me about the Yi lights. Now, Yi light, and this is a color model here that I managed to get from a website called gearbest.com. Now, of course, there's links down below to Gearbest. Go ahead, check them out. But they sent me one of these lights for free. So what we're gonna do with this light here today is we're going to get it unboxed. I'll show you what's inside and then show you how to get it set up here in your home and show you the color quality that we're going to get out of these light bulbs. So let's get going. All right, so let's get the Yi light open here. Like I said, this is a color bulb. And when I set it up and look at the device itself, it's actually called a color bulb too. Now, some of the great features here, there is no hub required. It's only a Wi-Fi bulb. So that's different from the Sangled bulbs and the Philips Hue. Now the device itself is actually quite heavy. You can see a little bit of styling here on the bottom of the connector piece. You do get a manual, but it is in one form of Chinese that I sure can't read. So that's why you're watching this video to understand how to set it up and get it working. So you could see it in the background there, but we're going to go ahead and get this set up. Now, don't be fooled. Don't get the blue Yi light application. That's for Bluetooth enabled bulbs. Just get the Yi light application. And it is a similar law in and set up process for an account with these guys you do have to select a server for your account to go on I selected the United States one and then you create an account it's called a me account and that's because you're signing up with Xiaomi the company now in the application there are scenes there are rooms and there are devices and there's also a menu up top left you can of course add a device, a scene, and a room at any time. Adding a device, like I said, I have to choose LED bulb color two, and I just chose that based on the look of my device versus the pictures I was being shown. Now they want you to select your Wi-Fi network, put in your password, and then you hit next step, and it actually asks you to go to the settings in your iPhone or Android device. Now, I struggled a little bit in getting my iPhone to make the connection so I actually switched over to Android and this is how quick the process was. It updated the connection and it connected my Yi light bulb directly to my Wi-Fi network instantaneously on the first try. But I could not get that working on an iPhone, it might have just been something going on on my phone today. After that, you can see in the devices section, you do have your Yi light bulb all set up. That's its name right now, and you can switch between different modes here. There's a white color chooser, and then there is also a color chooser if you wanna get into the colors that come with this bulb. The other mode that I really enjoyed, I'll get to in a minute, but you can see how quickly the device is responding to my commands. This is real time. I'm just hitting these different kind of scene buttons is what I'll call them. And you can see the color changing on the wall very quickly. Now the next thing is that color chooser where you're just choosing the white colors, the brighter, whiter light, or the more yellow color that I think lots of people are traditionally used to. You can go in that whole range, you can change the brightness, and then of course you can switch between all the different colors that this bulb can produce, which is essentially unlimited. And I will say the colors are very, very vibrant. Some of the best I've seen actually. And this was probably my favorite feature on the bulb was this flow mode. You could pick the four different colors that it flowed between and it will sit there and transition between. You can also choose the pace at which it moves through this flow mode. So this was one of the most enjoyable things about the bulb. Now moving through the application, you can actually change the name of the bulb inside the devices. You just simply have to click top right and 
change that device when you're in it. You can also create room. So as you hit create room, you can go in and you choose an icon that will basically represent your room going forward and then you do have to create a name. What I'll tell you is that room does not transfer across to other systems like the Google Home or Amazon Echo series of devices. You can also create scenes of course. So now you're going to choose another icon again. Once you do that you have to name the scene and then you're going to choose what your different devices are doing. Now I only have the one device. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. I can choose a state or I can choose a scene. When I say choose a scene, if I had any favorite setup or customizations, I could get those. But these are those base scenes that you saw me rolling through in the application. So choosing reading here, this is basically a work time. Now back to the iPhone app. And I want to say that again, I struggled in the iPhone app a little bit. I don't think this is going to be the case for everyone, but I could not get schedules, timers, or any of these things in the menu. So let me show you again in the Android app here. In the scene section, I can click the name work time, which is what I set up. And then you saw me actually click a home screen shortcut and that created an icon. You can also click the icon itself to actually trigger that scene in app. Now in the room section, you can see me clicking on the power button there that should turn off a whole room. It actually was changing the whole room but it wasn't showing in the app. You can see when I go into the room itself I can adjust the different lights on and off and I can also change a whole room to say a flow if I wanted to. So again if you had multiple bulbs in one room in this application you could get them all doing the same thing or you could actually choose different things per device. Now again in the devices section you can actually choose favorites. So that's the middle star button inside the device itself and here's that same menu that I was struggling with. So I just clicked on the different favorites that I had just set up and there is the one that I had just created. Again in that same menu here, here's the color picker and what the color picker is is essentially a request to actually use your camera to choose the color on screen that you want to use for your bulb and that's quite the feature. So here's what comes up. I'm just showing my camera on a table actually so it's just showing black but you could pick the color off of that. Here's the timer function you can actually set once your bulb is on you can turn on a timer to have it automatically turn off and that's actually not in a lot of other light applications. The scheduling capability is actually really nice as well. So you can choose the name of the schedule that you're creating. It can be applied to certain bulbs certain times, certain days, and then you can set it for different scenes or states that you want all of your different Yi light bulbs to go into. So it's actually very, very powerful in terms of an application. Now again, I couldn't get into this in the iPhone application. So what I'll say to you as owners with an iPhone you're going to want to test the application out before you go and purchase one of these. But otherwise, in general, what I'll say is the app worked very, very well. I just struggled a little bit with an iPhone 6S Plus. So there's not much more I can say about that. But overall, the application itself was impressive. And one last feature to give you here, down in that menu again, this is basically to synchronize the bulb with audio around it. So you're allowing the application that you have on your tablet or phone to actually listen for audio and then it will adjust your bulb as it goes. So that's a great feature, of course, and I think something everyone asks for. So again, this is the Yee Light Color Bulb. This is a full setup process showing you how it works. Again, I got this bulb from GearBest. Go ahead, check out their website down below. If you're looking for one of these bulbs, I'll have the link directly to that in that description as well. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.